In this Easy Ed video lecture, we will be learning another types of motions related to kinematics of particle like relative motion and dependent motion. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. What is relative motion? Consider two buses. A red bus is moving with velocity v1 and a blue bus is moving with velocity v2. Both are traveling on a straight highway. Both the buses are moving in the opposite directions, that is, they are on the verge of collision. An observer is watching the buses running on the highway. Here the velocity of the red bus is positive and the velocity of the blue bus is negative according to the coordinate system. The general equation for relative velocity is given as velocity of red bus with respect to blue bus equals velocity of red bus minus blue bus. Since the velocity of the blue bus is negative, so the relative velocity of red bus with respect to blue bus is given by the following equation and the relative velocity of the blue bus with respect to the red bus is given by the following equation. Again, the two buses, the red bus and the blue bus are traveling on a straight highway. Both the buses are moving in the same direction, that is parallel to each other. An observer is watching the buses running on the highway. Here, the velocity of the red bus is positive and the velocity of the blue bus is also positive. So the relative velocity of the red bus with respect to the blue bus is given by the following equation. From the given example of the relative motion, we can say that the relative motion is the calculation of the motion of an object with regard to some other moving object. Let us understand relative motion with the help of an example. Consider two trains leave a station in different directions at the same instant. Train A travels at 300 km per hour at 15 degree west of north while train B travels at 400 km per hour at 50 degree east of north. Find the relative velocity of train A with respect to train B and the separation of train A after 3 minutes. Given that the velocity of VA is 300 km per hour at 15 degree west of north, now VA bar is given as VXI plus VYJ. VX is given by VA sine 15 and VY is given by VA cos 15. The sine competent will be negative as per the coordinate system. On evaluating, we get VA as shown. Similarly, evaluating for VB, we get the equation as shown. Therefore, the relative velocity of a train, A, with respect to train B, is given by the relation shown. On evaluating, we get the relative velocity of train A with respect to B. Now draw the position vector of train A and train B. So the relative position of A with respect to B is shown by vector. Now velocity is distance upon time. On substituting the respective values, we get the relative position of train A with respect to train B after 3 minutes. In dependent motion, the motion of particle is dependent on the other particle in the system. As we can see that a man is moving a block. So the motion of a block is dependent on the man. Dependent motion systems are usually connected to one or more ropes or strings. For such a situation, we apply constant string length method. This method is applied where the length of the string or rope is constant irrespective of the position of the particles. Seriously, pay attention. This is important. Consider the example of three blocks. Step 1. Always take reference axis perpendicular to the direction of motion of the particles. Here block A and B are moving in a vertical direction. Hence we have taken a horizontal fixed reference axis 1 and block C moves in a horizontal direction. Hence we have taken a vertical fixed reference axis 2. Mark their position with respect to reference axis. Step 2. In this case, suppose block B is moving down, the block A would travel up and block C to the left. A very important note while applying constant string length method. Therefore, length of string is as shown. Step 3. On differentiating the above equation with respect to time, we get the relation between velocities of particles. Step 4. Again, on differentiating, we get the relation between acceleration of particles. 
let us understand how to apply constant string length method in the given problem. Block A and B are arranged as shown. Knowing that block B has velocity of 2 meter per second down, determine the corresponding velocity of block A. Here block B is moving down which makes pulley C to move down and block A moves up. Take reference axis perpendicular to the direction of motion and mark the position of the respective blocks. Now apply constant string length method to string 1. Total length L1 equals XA plus XC. Pulley C moves down and block A moves up. Therefore XA length decreases and XC length increases. So equation A becomes as shown. On differentiating we get the relation of velocity. Now applying constant string length method to string 2. We get the following total length of string 2. As block B moves down, length XB decreases and so XC. So equation D becomes as shown. On differentiating, we get the relation for velocity. From equation C and F, we get VB equals 2VA. Given that the velocity of block B is 2 meter per second, on substituting, we get VA equals 1 meter per second. Let us take an overview of this video lecture. We have seen that relative motion is the calculation of the motion of an object with regard to some other moving object. Here we have analyzed two cases where in one case two buses are coming close to each other and in another case two buses are moving parallel to each other. In both the cases we have calculated the velocity of one bus with respect to the other bus. Here the motion of the block is dependent on the man. So the block's motion is said to be a dependent motion. Dependent motion systems are usually connected to one or more ropes or strings. For such a situation, we apply the constant string length method. We have also seen steps to solve problems under constant string length method. So this is the overview of our video lecture.